Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you've got the funnel over here and it says that you are feeling frustrated. Uh, there are still some lessons to be learned. So maybe, you know, you feel things are not moving uh, quickly enough and that is frustrating you. And it's something to do with your career because you're trying to climb towards success, but, you know, things seem to have slowed down. There's some kind of bottleneck effect over there, so you might have to do something first. Uh, you know, lessons to be learned would imply that you'd have to may, maybe learn some new skills or brush up on your skills in order for you to climb that uh, ladder of success. You've got the hills over here, so obstacles to uh, overcome. So there's a few things that you need to get through uh, in order for you to uh, move forward. So this is probably why the funnel is there. These obstacles are the things that are causing this bottleneck effect. Uh, so you might need to do some further learning in order for you to uh, move forward or to get some kind of promotion. You've got the bread over here, so a period of prosperity and abundance. So there was, you know, in the past you have been earning, uh, maybe you're just looking for a, a better paid job or looking for that promotion. But, you know, there was abundance that came in. There was a period of prosperity that has been going on for you. And this is the card of space where of self-delusion. So you've needed to be quite practical and quite realistic about what you want and your goal intention. Now, going to the future, we've got a fair-haired man, so dealing with a uh, or relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. So this particular person might be quite important in your life. And you've got the cat, which says a two-faced friend. So, uh, oh, shit. So, you know, uh, you could be dealing with somebody who is not looking out for your best interests. Uh, they might be saying one thing to you and pretending to be something else. So just watch out for that. Be careful about who you trust with what information uh, you have. You know, if you have sensitive information, uh, do not spread that around keep it to yourself okay so a bit of frustration over there uh and you know you may need to just make a new strategy or rethink your plans in order for you to move forward okay so i'm just going to use the uh, mona lisa tarot for the main read You've got the Six of Pentacles over here, which is showing that, you know, new money coming in. Uh, there's a new job offer coming in for you. Uh, you're waiting for that. So you'll be starting, well, not at the top, but, uh, you know, enough to make some progress. This child has scope for growth. So that particular job that is going to be coming your way, that offer is going to be coming your way, it's going to allow you to move upwards. So there is a lot of scope for progress there. But this offer is coming in. You can see this man giving the child money. So it looks like this offer is going to be presented to you and money, more money will come in uh, with that job as well. Well, uh, what's happening with you? You've got the Knight of Pentacles and the Hierophant over here. So it looks like, you know, wherever you've been working for or at, you're going to be leaving behind. Maybe you didn't get along with the people there. It was something that was quite established, that particular job, and you're moving away quite quickly. You know, the Knight of Pentacles is usually the slow-moving knight, but in this particular deck, he's racing away from a man that is, you know, raising his fist. So you might have had some problems at your work front, and maybe this is why you want to leave this job and move away from it. You've got the Hierophant card, and this might be learning new skills or going back to school. Uh, you know, you might be even working in an institution here, or, you know, uh, something that is very, very established. You might be dealing with the legal system. You might be working in a financial uh, institution as well, because these are cards, uh, you know, that this particular card rules. Um, and, you know, you could even be working in the medical field as well. Or even the religious field as well, because this is the Hierophant. But something where you're teaching or something where you're getting advice or you're giving advice, uh, that could be the case. So this man, this Knight of Pentacles seems to be moving towards that. But also in this Hierophant card, moving away from old traditional views and values and changing the way you're looking at things. So you're leaving behind something. In both these cases, leaving behind the past and moving forward for something better in search of a better paid job because this man is walking towards this golden bull. So whatever this new offer is, it's got the promise of actually providing a lot of money for you. You can see that golden bull there, golden calf there. Uh, so you're going to be leaving the traditional. You might have to do some uh, training uh, with this particular card. The Knight of Pentacles is also about learning. So it could be that you need to uh, you know, brush up on your skills, do some further uh, research or further education in order for you to get uh, that goal. But you are moving away from an old job. 
And here you've got the Eight of Cups. So this is also walking away from things that are no longer serving you. You can see all these people up in arms against this woman and she is walking away from an establishment. So wherever you were working with was a very established circumstance. You didn't get along. It seems like you didn't get along with the people that you worked with there and you are now moving off to something new. She's got a new cup in her hand. So you are following something that you really, really want. And it looks like with that Ace of Cups, it's also about study. So it's going to be further education as well involved with this new job that you're getting. And they're beginning something brand new, Ace of Wands, uh, starting a new project, starting new work. So this has happened in the last few months. It looks like you're taking control, taking charge, and very focused on that work as well. Uh, and, uh, you know, making big changes. So uh, a lot of creativity involved in it. Uh, and you could be doing a lot of travel as well with this particular job that you're doing. But it, you've left behind you know, maybe this is that offer that has come in for that new job or that new project, but it looks like, you know, you're leaving everything behind and moving away from it. And there, what you want is the, to be the king of wands, so you want to be in charge and control, and uh, the king of wands is your cards. You want your authority in this particular circumstance here. So that is what you're uh, vying for, really. You're vying to uh, reach the top of that particular profession and be in charge. So that is your ambition and that is what you're working with. Now you've got the two of cups over here. So you could be dealing with somebody that's pretty selfish here uh, or somebody uh, that, you know, the relationship is not pretty, not very good. The communication between you and this particular person that you're dealing with uh, may not be really good. This person might not be supportive, maybe may, they might have their own problems that, uh, you know, they're um, dealing with. And you're working with this particular person and you're actually contemplating of breaking off that relationship. Now, this could be, uh, you know, in a business relationship itself or this could be even on a personal front uh, where you're dealing with people, um, you know, that you don't really get along with. You feel that they're looking after their, their selves uh, and you're feeling very, very unhappy in the, that circumstance. If this is a relationship, you're very unhappy in this relationship and it looks like, you know, what you, it didn't turn out to be what you thought it was going to be. And maybe this is, um, you know, you want to part company with this person. So on the work front, it looks like you're moving forward. But on a personal level, with this Two of Cups being a very personal card, it might be that you might be having some problems within your relationship. Uh, you and, uh, you know, your significant other are not really getting along very well. Uh, you all don't seem to be communicating. Uh, this man's got his back turned to this woman. So maybe you're not sharing uh, information. And this person looks very, very unhappy. Uh, this man looks very suspicious of this woman as well, so this could well be the case. And this person seems to have an addiction. They seem to be drinking uh, a, a lot. So maybe this person that you're uh, in this relationship has also got some kind of addiction that you cannot understand and are not really happy with it. Now, you've got the five of wands. So wherever you are at, at your workplace, probably because these are wands cards, there's a lot of competition. There's a lot of problems. Maybe you're being bullied in that particular circumstance. And this is why you're looking for a new job and you want to move on. So you're feeling, um, you know, a, a little bit disempowered, uh, everybody seems to be, um, you know, coming up against you. They seem to be almost victimizing you in this particular circumstance and nobody's listening to what you've got to say. So that's what's going on with you. There's a lot of drama, a lot of fighting, a lot of arguments. There's a lot of pettiness going on around you. So you want to end this job over here. You've got the Ten of Pentacles bringing an end to this particular work cycle and really moving forward into something better. There might be a payoff that comes in with that Ten of Pentacles. You want to start afresh. You've got the Fool card of yours. So brand new beginnings, uh, feeling, you know, as though, uh, you know, there was a lot of loss within your life, but you want to make a brand new start, a fresh start uh, again. So going into the future, you've got the Four of Pentacles over here, the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Cups. So the Four of Pentacles is, you know, um, taking your things and, you know, walking, really. He's taking his bag of money and walking. So there looks like there's going to be some kind of payoff that comes, uh, you know, from ending this job in this uh, particular place. So whatever the Ten of Pentacles brings to an end, the Four of Pentacles is bringing some money. It looks like there's a very aggressive people that you're dealing with. This could, um, you know, this bull is chasing this man and he's having to take his things and run. So it looks like, you know, you're dealing with a very, very difficult circumstance, uh, but there's a payoff that comes in and people are very aggressive uh, where you're working at in your workplace, really.
You've got the Knight of Wands over here, so it looks like, you know, you're moving pretty quickly there, but also relocating. So you might be changing your job, going to a new country, doing a lot of travel as well, uh, and changing your job. So uh, there's some news coming in over there. There might be some study as well. There's a lot of learning opportunities that are coming in with this job, and a lot of travel opportunities as well, meeting foreigners, going to foreign places as well. And you've got that Ace of Cups, so a brand new beginning. So this is going to bring you a lot of satisfaction, a lot of admiration from the people around you. Uh, and, you know, you're going to be able to uh, blossom in this particular job as well. It's something business. You've got the vendor going on selling flowers over here. So whatever you're starting over here, you might be involved in sales of some sort, really. Um, but you're starting something brand new, getting a lot of recognition for it, doing a lot of travel as well, and, you know, getting a, a large sum of money, some kind of payout coming in for you there. So it looks like you're moving on as far as your work life goes. You might be thinking, you might be a bit dissatisfied as far as your personal life goes. Uh, maybe you and your partner have not communicated very, very clearly with each other. There seems to be some kind of issue going on as far as your personal life goes as well. But uh, it looks like, you know, you're starting this brand new job. It's going to bring in a lot of money. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's something that you're going to um, be able to move on, leave the past behind and move on and get a lot of success eventually. So I'm just going to, you know, the people that you dream uh, working with are quite uh, nasty, really. It's a, it's a kind of a lot of drama. You can see a lot of people fighting with each other there, attacking you almost. Okay, so I'm just going to draw some cards from the Animal Tarot, and it's the first card is the Balance card, which is the Temperance card. It says, by merging varying viewpoints, uh, you can generate an extraordinary new idea, compromise with others, and collaboration to discover a better solution. So this is about... Um, you know, the, the Temperance card is ruled by Sagittarius. This is about travel as well uh, um, and, you know, getting your message to a broader audience. Uh, but this is also about getting some good advice, uh, taking people's, what people got to, have got to say on board, compromising as well and, uh, you know, uh, coming up with the best solution for that particular problem. Uh, and this is also healing from a difficult situation with that balance card, getting that balance, being able to bring all your talents Everything that you've learned, all your skills together, blending them together and coming up with that really good uh, solution or good uh, problem, uh, you know, you'll be able to solve the problem much better or come up with a new idea by using all those skills and talents you have learned. There's a lot of news coming in over here. You've got a lot of birds coming in. So you might be communicating with a lot of people as well. And like I said, there could be some international travel as well. Now you've got the Prince of Winter over here, so moving forward again. So the zebra is walking forward, but the uh, you know the the horse is running forward, and you can uh, get ready for progress to speed up. The situation requires you to choose logic and intellect over emotion, and make your decisions quickly. So uh, some good uh, some news coming in. It could be something of a legal matter because it's the Prince of Winter, which is the Prince of Swords. So you might be signing new contracts. You might getting some news where you have to uh, go through um, you know um, official. Uh, information and whatever this is coming in is going to move you very quickly into the future and you're going to have to act very logically and very quickly um, you've got the eight of summer so this is uh, you know the eight of cups you feel that there's much more to life than what you've been living so it's time to move on you might be moving from a situation that isn't good for you um, or perhaps you are being drawn to what makes you happy either way you're in control the Eight of Cups is leaving behind something that was established, something that you put a lot of effort into and moving on uh, to something different. And this is because you are dissatisfied, unhappy with it, or it's not working out for you. You've, you've given it your best shot. Uh, nothing's coming off it, so you're going to be moving on. And you can see there's a lot of drama. You know, the people that you're working with are not really the nicest of people, I must say. Uh, you know, you can see them blocking. Maybe they've been blocking your progress. You can see this man's even standing in front of the door. So preventing you from progressing and this is upsetting you because you do want to reach the top of your career so it looks like you're going to and you know this two of cups could be your personal relationship but this could also be a business relationship you are dissatisfied in it unhappy uh, you know you are uh, suspicious of the other person that person is suspicious of you or wherever you are and you know there, it, there's no trust over there with that two of cups card so you're ending that particular circumstance going want to you want to start afresh and it looks like you're going to be moving on uh, and whatever you're going for now it looks like there's payment payout coming uh, and you're going to be doing a lot of travel and receive a lot of recognition so it looks like things are changing for the positive it might seem very very uh, you know there's a lot of um, 
energy shifts going on over here, uh, but soon you'll have to focus and move forward and be very logical. Have a plan in place. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.